Hello, Colors. Welcome back to Viva Barca and welcome to another interesting episode where we are going to be discussing on the latest developing stories. We start with Vitor Roque, as it has been reported at Barcelona to go all out for the Arsenal targets and if if it is necessary, they could even postpone his arrival to 2024 if financial fair play issues persist. We are also going to be discussing on that. Then secondly, in this episode, talking about Pablo Gavi, as Fabrizio Romano reports that Barca are optimistic about the Wonder Kids situation amid contract registration issues. We are also going to be discussing more on that. So guys, as we get right into the full stories, please do ensure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch right up to the very end. Barca, Barca, Barca. According to Joaquin Piera of Sport, Barcelona have decided to go all out and do whatever is necessary to secure the signing of Atletico Paranense striker Vitor Roche. The 18-year-old has been identified as one of the main targets for the Catalans heading into the summer, but recent reports have suggested that they were falling behind Arsenal in the race to sign the Brazilian prodigy. Meanwhile, Chelsea have also shown interest in him. But Barcelona remain determined to sign Vitor Roque and they are prepared to do everything necessary in order to secure his signing. Roja's club, Atletico Paranense, already know about Barca's interest in him, with advisor Deco having held talks with the Brazilian club's director, Luis Felipe Scolari. Meanwhile, Rojas continues to you know, prefer a transfer to Barcelona, despite interest from Arsenal, Chelsea, PSG and AC Milan. His agents and family are understood to be in favor of a move to Catalonia as well, even though recent reports suggested that they might lean towards the Premier League. Barcelona at the moment are said to be in contract negotiations with Rojas' agent. Once they are close to being finalized, the plan is to begin talks with Atletico Paranense about the transfer fee for the 18-year-old. Why Barcelona's interest in recruiting Roja is firm, their financial fair play hurdles could become an issue and prevent them from registering him in the summer. The Blaugrana are thus considering an alternative approach in case they face with financial fair play problems. In such a scenario, the La Liga leaders will close Roja's signing but postpone his arrival by, by one more year until 2024. Instead, they would look to bring in a striker on a free transfer for the next season alone, with Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang an option, provided he can agree a mutual termination of contract with Chelsea. So what seems clear is that Barcelona are very high on Roque and are not prepared to miss out on his signature, even as interest from Arsenal and Chelsea continues to rise. Barcelona continued to go hell-bent to bring Vitor Roque and trying to sort out issues. Of course, this is a very talented player with a lot of prospect and Barca don't want to lose out on Vitor Roque like how they lose out on the old fellow Brazilian prodigy, Hendrik, who finally went to Real Madrid. Barcelona continued to show interest in Vitor Roque and I think Barca still have the upper hand all because the player have said it multiple times that he really wants a Barca move. He really wants to play for Barca. It is, it is a dream for him to play in Barca. We all know about the, the, the fact that Brazilian players or the South American players like to play in either Real or Barcelona. And it comes as no surprise as Victor Roque is expressing the same. So Arsenal and Chelsea continue to look like the favorite because they have the money, they have the finances to, to get done with the deal. But the fact that the player, his, his eyes are on Barca, it means Barca still have more hopes. But we know that financial fair play has become a very big hurdle. And it is really frustrating to see that Barca 
are struggling to see if they can sign players because of the issues of finance, financial fair play. And report now saying that Barca are just hoping that things work out well for the summer. But if in case, just in case, the fair play rules hang on Barca's neck in a way that they cannot even bring Victor Roque or pay his wages, then Barca will try to negotiate with Atletico Paradense to see if it will be possible to to loan him to the club and bring him in 2024. Of course, that would surely be better, honestly. If things, if things, or let me say, if push come to shove, that's the only thing that Barca could try to do. That is, if and only if the club accepts such a proposal, by the way. So, Victor Roque continues to be a hot prospect. And, of course, the one of the, 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 the highest target to Barca at this point. So, it remains to be seen if Barca will do what they want to do or they will, they will lose on the battle. But, hopefully, I know that Barca will keep pushing. They don't want to lose out like how they did with Andre. Then, on to the final story of discussion. According to Fabrizio Romano, Barcelona are quiet and optimistic about the situation surrounding Gavi amid his contract registration problems. Barcelona have been at loggerheads with La Liga over the registration of the new first team contracts of the midfield wonder kid. The 18 year old signed a new deal with the club in September last year, but it was not registered at the time due to financial fair play problems. After selling Memphis Opar in January, the Catalans proceeded to take care of the issue but saw their attempts getting rejected by the league. In the end, on the January deadline day, Barcelona obtained a precautionary measure from a court to successfully register Gavi as a first team member and hand him the number six. However, earlier this month, La Liga managed to get the decision overturned by court as Barca had allegedly filed the necessary paperwork post the deadline day. The Blaugrana's appeal was also dismissed by that court, leading to speculation over Gavi's situation. The ruling meant that the 18-year-old was no longer a first-team player and was re- reverted to his old youth contract, which expires at the end of the ongoing campaign. It led to clubs like Liverpool, Manchester City and Bayern Munich casting admiring glances towards Gavi as he could potentially be available for free if his new contract is not registered. But Barcelona are calm and optimistic about the situation as they know that the teenage prodigy is very happy at the club and does not plan on leaving any time. The midfielder is waiting for the club to complete the registration according to La Liga rules. Gavi remained fully committed to Barcelona despite the contract registration problems and so it does not come as a surprise to see that the Catalans are optimistic about his situation. However, steps must be taken to ensure that the registration of Gavi's contract, along with those of Ronald Araujo, Sergio Roberto and Marcos Alonso, go ahead without any further hitches in the summer. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.